I said, put your hands together and give God some praise. I'm looking at somebody right now that's made up in their mind. But where before I get to the oil, I'm going to be faithful over what it is that God has called me to do. Before I get to the manifestation, I'm going to be faithful over what God has called me to do. Before I get over the hump, before I get over that next hill, I'm going to be faithful where God has me right now. I love David. But because before we ever knew, look at this, before we ever knew his name, we saw the oil. Y'all ain't going to help me preach it here. Before we ever saw his name, we saw the oil. Come on, look at it when you get the chance. Look at it because before they ever, before they ever mentioned his name, we see in verse number, it was in verse number 11, they just referred to him as he. In verse number 11 again, they referred to him as he. In verse number 12, they referred to him as him. In verse number 12, they referred to him as he. Come on here. But then in verse number 13, the Bible says, he said that Samuel grabbed the oil and the oil was before his name. Y'all ain't gonna help me preaching here. Before we knew his name, we saw the oil. Is there anybody watching right now? The way you made up in your mind. But before you get to what it is that God wants to pour out in your life, come on here, you got to be faithful and you got to be able to be anointed. Come on, we came into 2020 and I told you that we are anointed. We are anointed for this. We had no idea it was gonna be a global pandemic. But can I tell you, we're anointed and we're graced for this. We had no idea that it was going to be all this racial tension. We had no idea we're going to see somebody die with their neck, put somebody knee on their neck. But can I tell you, we're graced. We're graced for this. We had no idea that we'll see Ahmaud Arbery jogging in the neighborhood and see him senseless lose their life. But can I tell you, we're graced. Can I tell you, we're graced for this. We had no idea that our sister Sherry Wilder was going to leave here. But can I tell you that we're graced? We're graced for this. We had no idea that our sister Tina, Tina Bobina, Banana Banana Bobana, we had no idea that our sister Tina was going to be transitioning. But can I tell you we're graced? We're graced for this. I don't know who I'm talking to. I'm graced for this. I don't know how you feel. You get in where you fit in. The Lord has prepared me how to pastor in a pandemic. The Lord has taught me I'm great. I'm great for this. When I got fired from my job, the Lord was preparing me for this moment. When I had to bury my mama, the Lord was preparing me for this moment. When I had to bury my father, the Lord was preparing me for this this moment I don't know what you've been through but before the oil before you get the manifestation you gotta go through what you got to go through and because your grace your grace for this and now I'm saying Lord I need your anointing like never before is there anybody that need more of his anointing and the Bible says I heard y'all ain't gonna help me preach but I heard I heard in verse 13, the Bible says in the oil, the oil was poured upon him, and they anointed him in the middle of his brothers. God getting ready to pour the oil out right in the midst of your brethren. No wonder David can say that surely he'll anoint my head. He'll anoint my head with oil. No wonder David can say that in the presence of my enemies, the Lord will raise me up. I got a word for you. If you stay small enough, long enough, God will make you big enough, soon enough. Preach, Pastor Kobe. I said if you stay small enough, long enough, God will make you big enough, soon enough. I don't know who I'm preaching to, but before you get the oil, before you get the breakthrough, before you get the marriage, before you get the children, before you get the job, before you get the career. You got to be faithful. I heard. 
I heard the proverb writer say, he say faithful, he said a faithful man shall abound, shall abound with blessing. You got to be faithful when no one's watching. You got to be faithful when no one's looking. You got to learn how to pray and to stand between the porch, the porch and the altar. I heard, I heard Ezekiel say that the Lord sought for a man that will make up the gap. He sought for a man that'll make up the hedge. What are you doing, people of God? Why are you on the back side of the mountain? Are you praying? Are you believing? Are you sacrificing? Are you worshiping? Before the oil, I'm going to be in the place that God wants me to be in. Before the oil, I'm going to keep on being who God called me to be. Come on, put your hands together and give God some praise in here. Come on, online. Come on, live studio audience. I said, put your hands together and give God some praise. We, we don't like these kind of messages. <laughs> That's why I'm a pastor. I'm not a performer. That's why I'm a pastor. I'm not a, I'm not a puppet. <laughs> we don't like these kind of messages because we just want to hear we're going to get all our stuff. We just want to hear we're going to reign and we're going to rule and we're going to be in charge and we're going to be this and we're going to be that. It's not the way that God works. God positions us and God conditions us. God strengthens us in this thing called the process. Before David, did you hear what I said? Before, we saw the oil before we knew his name. The only way you're going to be recognized, be used of God, got to be in pursuit of God's heart. And it's God's heart that will constitute the oil that's on your life. On behalf of everyone here at Truth and Love Ministries, we want to thank you for being a part of our online worship experience. Thank you for your participation through your likes, your shares, and your comments. But we also want you to participate when it comes down to helping us continue to push this gospel message forward. You can do so by downloading our app, and you can give there in a safe and secure way. You can go to our website at truthandlove.tv, and you can give. Or you can text the word T-I-L Jacks to the number 77977. Thank you so much for your generosity. Thanks for watching. Be blessed. See you next time.